it's James here from goodguitarist.com and today I'm going to show you how to learn and practice Purple Rain by Prince. First let's take a look at what we're going to be doing today. And as you can see, this song is pretty much four simple chord shapes, the most common chord progression ever, G, E minor, C, D, and a, not a basic strumming pattern, but a really slow, you know, 16th note strumming pattern. And it's the same thing over and over again, minus all the like crazy guitar solo stuff and the ending, which is like this avant-garde, like four minute long thing. This song is a pretty easy strummer and, and that's how we're gonna tackle it. If you haven't gotten your copy of my free ebook, it covers all the fundamentals of guitar and uh, you can get that completely free. I'll put a link in the corner if you haven't gotten your copy yet. Either way, we're gonna get started now with those chord shapes, starting off on G, then E minor, D, and C, and if you're not familiar with those switches, there are some like tricks that you can do, like going from G to E minor, you just leave down your first finger and that switch is so much easier. And then from E minor to D, we just take those two fingers and we spread them out, put them where they belong on the D chord and plug the hole. And then for D to C, that's one of those ones that you just gotta go through a whole bunch of times, you know, just doing it silently and just being consistent in how you lay down your fingers, you know, just laying them down the same way. That's what we do with in my free ebook. So definitely check that out if you want a bunch of training videos and everything to like get you super solid with these shapes. Otherwise, let's practice our chord progression. There's one measure where the timing is a bit different. So I want to do this one with downstrokes only and counting out the chord, the chord shapes so that we can, you know, get them all in the right order and for the right amount of times, for the right number of beats. Starting off on G, one, two, three. Is our verse and we actually played it faster than the original recording this one's super duper slow it's like 58 beats per minute I don't think they're playing it with a click it kind of fluctuates but that's it averages out it's about 58 beats per minute before we move on and learn the chorus let's add the strumming pattern to that the strumming pattern goes like this and that is a really common feel when a song uses 16th notes. Like taking a look at this, you can see it's like twice as long as a normal strumming pattern and the counting's all funny. That's because this is a 16th note strumming pattern. For this thing, we count one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and. Uh, so every beat is divided into four. We have four beats, four times four, that's 16. That's where 16th notes comes from. And let's take a look at this thing beat by beat. Beat one, this is a downstroke. That's pretty straightforward. Beat two, we have a downstroke on two and then an upstroke on a. Uh. And to, to get used to that, I want you to count first going two, e, and a, uh, two, and just move your arm 
down and up with it. Down on the numbers and the ands, and then up on the e, a. Uh. So two, e, and, a. Uh. Two, e, and, a. Uh. And I would just go one, e, and, a. Uh. And I know it's kind of boring, you know, it's taking the time to count out three and a four and, but I think it's really important that you keep this in like a four beat unit and you count it out really slowly and you say everything out loud. And that's the first half of the pattern. And now for the second half of the pattern on beat three, you can see that we're going E and, if, you know, we have an upstroke on E and then a downstroke on and, and to, to feel that in context, like if you just isolate it, it doesn't really do the trick. So we have to start on beat two and I just want to play this part, beats two and three, going one E and a, two E and a, three E and. And rather than count it, let's say the strokes. One E and a, down, up, up, down, four E and a, one E and a, down, up, up, down, four E and a, one E. And by taking the time to say it and you know and and add the strokes and do all that we're practicing being rhythmic you know like you're not going to go up on stage and count one e and a two e and a and all that stuff but it it's internalizing the rhythm you know and that's the main point like a lot of the time when people have trouble making their strumming patterns sound good they know the strokes they're doing them in the right order but the rhythm's just not clicking so the way that we're doing it we're working on the rhythm clicking, you know, we're working on, to on talking it out because it's easier to be rhythmic with your mouth. You've been talking your whole life, right? And not waving your arm down and up in time with songs. So I really want you to take your time doing that. Now, the last bit, beat four, is pretty straightforward. Four, E, and, A. Uh, just down, down, up. And that's, that sequence of motions is in like a gajillion different strumming patterns. Most common strumming pattern ever starts like that. So it's not too hard to just, you know, three E and uh, down, down, up. Then we've worked on every bit of it in those three parts and we want to put the whole thing together. And I like to say it first. I like to go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. You know, you can just read the words and, you know, clap or snap or whatever and say it rhythmically. And that is going to help you so much. And at that point, it's going to be easy to just put it down on guitar. I'm going to mute the strings. Three E and a four E and a down, down, up, up, down, down, down. And you might remember that measure where we had two beats of D. Well, our strumming is going to fall apart at that point. So we're going to stop there and then we'll talk about that after. Let's just strum through the first bit of the chorus, starting on G. One, two, three, four. point we have those two beats of D for this we're just gonna go down 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 up that's pretty straightforward down 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 up on the D chord and then we're gonna play G just one strum and then we count two three four and that's the part where we're going purple rain purple rain and we go into the chorus so I'm gonna play through that in time I'm gonna back up a little bit to uh, G. So G, E minor, D, and then this little bit. Three, four. And 
this point, we've landed in the chorus. The chorus is the same chords, but a different order. We do C two times, then G, E minor. Then we have three measures of D, and then that same deal that we just did with the two beats of D and the G, it, we played in the exact same way. So let's just try that out super duper slowly, starting off on C. Three, four. super intense singing and works his way back into the verse. And that's it. We just do the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus a whole bunch of times. And then there's a solo. And this is where the song starts going, you know, on an adventure. It gets really abstract here. And that's probably where the sing along would end. So I'm going to write out what we're going to do, you know, and uh, I recommend writing this down and listening to the original recording and learning to kind of follow along and see where you are in the recording. The original recording, we would put, I should mention this actually, we would put a capo on the third fret to play along with the original recording, you know, and then you just do all your shapes up here as if this is the end of the guitar. On my Patreon page, I have a full song playthrough where I play through the whole thing. You can see the chords and lyrics at the top. I do it with a metronome and I do it without the capo. So you can just do it in the normal position. Um, I'll put a link to that down below. Don't forget to grab your copy of my free ebook. It's completely free for all my subscribers. I also have my complete beginner's course, which goes over all the fundamentals and, you know, gets you strumming and having a fun time doing it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I don't ask for that a lot. I should, I should be like, like and subscribe and doing all that. But, you know, please do though, if you if you enjoy my tutorials, it really helps out a lot. And if you have any, any questions, ask in the comments down below. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.